Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Curious Ria. Today, we're going to embark on a journey to one of the most diverse countries in the world, India. This South Asian nation is a unique blend of ancient traditions, vibrant cultures, and breathtaking landscapes. So buckle up, and let's get ready to explore India. Our first stop is New Delhi, India's capital city. Delhi is a city of contrasts, where ancient temples and modern skyscrapers coexist side by side. The city is home to iconic landmarks such as the Red Fort, Jama Masjid, India Gate, and the Lotus Temple. Don't forget to check out the bustling markets of Old Delhi and sample the delicious street food, like parathas and chaat. Next, we'll head to the city of Agra, home to one of the world's most iconic buildings, the Taj Mahal. This magnificent mausoleum was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered to be one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. While in Agra, make sure to visit the Agra Fort and the Baby Taj, both of which are also UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Our next stop is Rajasthan, the land of the kings. This state is known for its magnificent forts, palaces, and desert landscapes. The city of Jaipur, also known as the Pink City, is a must-visit destination in Rajasthan. It is home to the stunning Hawa Mahal, or Palace of Winds, which has intricate lattice work windows and is a perfect example of Rajasthani architecture. The city also boasts the majestic Amber Fort, which offers panoramic views of the surrounding hills and valleys. Another popular destination in Rajasthan is Jaisalmer, the Golden City. This city is known for its stunning sandstone architecture and is home to several well-preserved havelis, or traditional Rajasthani mansions. Visitors can also explore the Jaisalmer Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and take a camel safari through the Thar Desert to experience the stunning sunsets and starry nights. For those interested in spirituality and yoga, Rishikesh is a must-visit destination in India. Located in the northern state of Uttarakhand, Rishikesh is known as the yoga capital of the world and is home to several ashrams and meditation centers. Visitors can take yoga classes, attend meditation sessions, and explore the nearby temples and shrines. Our next destination is Varanasi, one of the oldest cities in the world and a spiritual center for Hindus. Located on the banks of the holy river Ganges, Varanasi is known for its ancient temples, narrow winding streets, and vibrant ghats, or riverfront steps. Visitors can take a boat ride on the Ganges to witness the evening arti, a ritual of light and sound that is a unique and unforgettable experience. Now, let's head to the city of Mumbai, the financial capital of India and home to Bollywood, the world's largest film industry. Visitors can explore the city's colonial architecture, visit the iconic gateway of India, and indulge in the local cuisine, such as Vada Pav, Pav Bhaji, and Mumbai-style biryani. Next, we have the state of Kerala, located on the southwestern coast of India. Known as, God's Own Country, Kerala is famous for its beautiful backwaters, palm-fringed beaches, and tranquil hill stations. Some of the must-see sites in Kerala include the backwaters of Aleppi, the hill station of Munnar, and the beaches of Kovalam. Kerala is also famous for its cuisine, which features delicious seafood, spicy curries, and sweet desserts like payasam. Another famous place in India is Goa, a small state located on the western coast of India. Goa is known for its beautiful beaches, vibrant nightlife, and Portuguese-influenced architecture. Some of the must-see sites in Goa include the Basilica of Bom Jesus, the Fort Aguada, and the Dude Cigar Waterfalls. While in Goa, make sure to sample the local cuisine, which features delicious seafood and spicy vindaloo. No trip to India would be complete without visiting the state of Tamil Nadu, known for its ancient temples, rich culture, and delicious cuisine. Some of the must-see sites in Tamil Nadu include the Brihadeswarar Temple in Thanjavur, the Meenakshi Temple in Madurai, and the Shore Temple in Mahabalipuram. The state is also famous for its spicy cuisine, which features dishes like dosa, idli, and sambar. For nature lovers, India offers several national parks and wildlife sanctuaries that are home to unique and endangered species. One of the most popular national parks is Ranthambore National Park, located in Rajasthan. It is known for its population of Bengal tigers, as well as other wildlife such as sloth bears, Indian leopards, and striped hyenas. 
Other popular wildlife destinations include Bandhavgar National Park, Kana National Park, and Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary. India is famous for its rich and diverse cuisine, which varies from region to region. Indian food is known for its bold flavors, aromatic spices, and colorful presentation. Some of the most popular dishes in India include biryani, butter chicken, dosa, samosas, and chaat. Indian cuisine also features a wide variety of vegetarian and vegan options, making it a popular choice for vegetarians and health-conscious diners. Let me share some of the famous Indian cuisines from different regions. Tandoori Chicken This dish originated in the northern state of Punjab and is made by marinating chicken in a mixture of yogurt and spices, and then roasting it in a clay oven called a tandoor. The result is a tender and flavorful chicken with a smoky flavor. Chole Bature. This dish is a popular street food in North India and consists of spicy chickpeas, chole, served with deep-fried bread, bature. It is typically served with pickles and yogurt, and is a popular breakfast or brunch option. Vada Pav. This is a popular street food in the western state of Maharashtra, and consists of a deep-fried potato patty, vada, served in a soft bun, pav, with chutney and spices. Rogan Josh. This is a popular meat dish from the northern state of Jammu in Kashmir. It is made with lamb, spices, and yogurt, and has a rich, creamy texture. It is often served with naan or rice. Dakwa. This is a popular snack from the western state of Gujarat, and is made from a fermented batter of chickpea flour and spices. It is typically served with chutney and is a popular vegetarian option. Masala Dosa. This is a popular breakfast dish from South India and consists of a thin, crispy pancake made from fermented rice and lentil batter, filled with a spicy potato filling. India is a secular country, and people of various religions coexist peacefully. Hinduism is the largest religion in India, followed by Islam, Christianity, Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism, and other smaller religions. Each religion has its own unique customs, traditions, and festivals which are celebrated with great enthusiasm and joy throughout the country. The country's religious diversity has given rise to a vibrant tapestry of festivals and celebrations throughout the year, such as Diwali, Holi, Eid, and Christmas. Indian culture is also famous for its classical music and dance forms, such as Bharatanatyam, Kathakali, and Hindustani classical music. Indian literature, including works such as the Ramayana and Mahabharata, have had a profound impact on the country's cultural identity and continue to be celebrated and studied to this day. Indian culture is constantly evolving and adapting to modern times, while still maintaining its ancient traditions and values. It is a colorful and diverse tapestry that has fascinated and inspired people from around the world for centuries. India is a diverse country with many different languages and religions. Hindi is the most widely spoken language in India, followed by Bengali, Telugu, and Marathi. There are also many other regional languages spoken across the country, such as Tamil, Kannada, Punjabi, and Gujarati, among others. In addition, English is widely spoken. India is home to some of the world's most influential and innovative companies in the technology sector. Companies like Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, Infosys, and Wipro are globally recognized for their expertise in software development, IT consulting, and business process outsourcing. India has also produced some of the world's most successful and prominent business leaders, including Mukesh Ambani, the chairman of Reliance Industries, and Ratan Tata, the former chairman of Tata Group. Both are known for their vision, leadership, and philanthropy, and have been instrumental in shaping the Indian economy. In addition to business, India has produced many famous figures in the fields of science, technology, and the arts. Some of the most well-known include Nobel laureate physicist C. V. Raman, mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan, and the legendary musician Ravi Shankar. Other notable Indians include activist and leader Mahatma Gandhi, astronaut Kalpana Chawla, and writer Salman Rushdie. India's tech industry has produced some of the world's most influential entrepreneurs, including Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, and Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. India's startup scene is also booming, with companies like Flipkart, Ola, and Zomato emerging as global players in the e-commerce, ride-hailing, and food delivery markets. 
Overall, India has a rich and diverse culture, with a long and fascinating history, and continues to be a major player in the global economy and technology industry. The best time to visit India depends on the region and your travel interests. Generally, the best time to visit most parts of India is between October and March, when the weather is mild and pleasant. This is a great time to explore the cultural and historical sites of cities like Delhi, Jaipur, and Agra, and to enjoy outdoor activities in places like the Himalayas, Rajasthan, and Kerala. If you're interested in trekking or adventure activities, the best time to visit the northern regions of India is from May to October. This is when the snow melts and the trekking trails are accessible. The monsoon season, from June to September, can also be a good time to visit India, especially if you want to experience the lush greenery and wildlife of the national parks and sanctuaries. However, if you're planning to visit the southern parts of India, such as Tamil Nadu or Kerala, the best time to visit is from November to February, when the weather is cool and dry. The beaches of Goa and the Andaman Islands are also best visited during the winter months. In conclusion, India is a vast and diverse country that can be visited year-round, depending on your interests and preferences. Whether you're interested in exploring the rich cultural heritage, embarking on a spiritual journey, indulging in delicious cuisine, or enjoying the scenic beauty of the country, India has something to offer every traveler. So pack your bags and get ready for an unforgettable adventure in India. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos.